everyone and welcome. This is Kevin with Online at Trader Central. We're very proud today to welcome each and every one of you. Our host and presenter today, Melissa Armo from Stockswish, is here with us. We'll be starting promptly. We do try to start on time. We do try to uh, end on time. We try to keep it to the hour uh, as, uh, as promised. We know that uh, in the latest, latest Harvard B-School study, they claim the adult attention spans only uh, 47 minutes anyway. So we try to have uh, a, a session and some questions at the end. We do thank each and every one of you. It's now time to begin. It's exactly 4.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from Stockbush. Please welcome Melissa. Thank you so much, Kevin, and welcome, everyone. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. I am doing a webinar here today hosted by Online Trader Central, and thank you so much for coming, everyone. Today's topic is called Big Rewards, Less Risk, and More Profit. And it may seem like an oxymoron to talk about less risk in the market, but we are going to talk about a way to trade today that does provide for a big profit potential with less risk. So let's get right down to it. If you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswoosh.com. And email me after the lecture if you'd like more information at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. So do you want to make a lot of money in the market? It's just you just don't know how. I mean, you're not sure where to begin, what to do. There's so many different ways to make money in the market. You don't know where to begin. Do you want a trading method that can pay you regularly? And by regularly, I mean on a regular basis. I don't mean once a month or twice a month or three times a month. I mean, when you look at a weekly calendar, you're getting paid a couple times a week on a regular basis. Trading really is not about rolling the dice. I know a lot of people think this, but it's not. It is not about getting 50-50 odds. This guy here, he, that's his expectation. He went to the casinos Friday night. He stayed out really late. And he didn't really expect to make more than 50-50. He went gambling. He had a good time. He had a great night. But this really isn't what trading is about. If you think that's what trading's about, you may as well just stick your money in a bank. It's, it's insured. Um, it's FDIC insured at a, at a United States institution, and you can earn 0.000001% or something in money market or savings accounts right now. If that's what you want, you can certainly do that with your money. It's safe. It's insured up to 250000 But the fact is, you can earn more trading than in a savings account because interest rates right now, what banks are paying, are so, so low. This is just a sign of the times, a way that things are. It, you, it doesn't pay you to really invest a lot of money in the bank over the long haul unless you're very conservative and don't want to risk any of your principal. However, if you're young and you have the drive, and if you're old and have the drive, and want to make money trading, you can. You have to have a way to do it so that you can trade effectively. And what does that mean? It means being able to take the money that you have, risking it in a way that protects yourself, from having not too many losses and having very nice big gains when you do take trades. So how are you going to do this? Well, you need the right focus, okay? Just like when you get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, which I do every single day. I need that caffeine kick before I train. It gives me the right focus. You also need a good strategy, gaps. Gaps is a strategy I trade, and we're going to talk about this today. This was a recent gap just from Friday. Beautiful gap here in SWHC, and this is a strategy, a strategy to trade in the market. You need a strategy. This is a foundation that has high odds of working to pay you with a maximum profit potential. So you first need a good system, okay? You need a good system that offers a big reward payout and less risk. One of the things is you're going to use stops. I call them hard stops, but it's a way to put a stop in your platform where you know the risk. It's defined, and you put a stop in the trade so that if the trade fails, you only lose exactly what your defined risk was, what you exactly wanted to lose. And if the trade goes on to work, then you make money. And we're going to talk about that more later in the examples. It's really about taking quality trades with detail and accuracy. Like when you go to the jewelry store, if you want to buy a gift for your girlfriend or your spouse or, or your mother, you want to buy something really nice. You want to buy something cheap. It could be your anniversary. It could be a special birthday. 
you, you want to do something in the market that has quality, accuracy, and detail. And in this way, you're going to be able to get more bang for your buck. Again, you don't get a lot of bang for your buck sticking your money in a savings account these days. How do you get a lot of bang for your buck? Learning how to trade and trading right. That is, after all, what professionals do. I mean, this is what true professionals do. They are always looking to get good risk to reward. They're looking to get paid. They're not looking to roll out of bed in the morning and make a dink, okay? It's, I know we trade and we trade from home and we sit behind our computers, but you know we can't forget that we are professionals. And if you're not trading and you want to learn how to trade, you still have to act and be like a professional. This is the only way you're going to get there. And if it helps you to dress up in the morning and sit at your computer in front of the computer by yourself, then do it. If, if you trade sloppy because you're sitting in your pajamas, then start to get dressed in the morning. Act like you're going to work. Act like you're going to Wall Street. True professionals trade the market looking for good payouts. They are not looking for dollar-to-dollar -dollar payouts, okay? They're not looking for one-to-one. -one. That's just simply not enough for them. It's not enough for me. It's not enough for a lot of people that know really what the market can give you. It's about asking more of the market. Ask more of the market. Ask more of yourself. Have your expectations. Set a bar. Set a bar that's not too crazy high, but geez, you know, high enough that you could make some real money here. Okay, this idea of a dollar to dollar, it, it's just a waste of time. At the end of the day, risk to reward counts. And really, you're looking to make not only more than one to one, you're looking more to make more than two to one. You want to make more than two dollars or two pennies for every one penny. So how do you get the right risk to reward? It's about having quality setups. And a setup is the trade, the trade that you're taking. So the strategy is the foundation, how you're picking the stock pick, the overall reason for the trade, the event, and then the trade is a setup, how you're getting in, the entry, and the exit. So when do good risk-to-reward trades set up? When? What time of the day? When? What kinds of trades? Where do good risk-to-reward trades set up? They set up in gaps. And they set up in gaps in the morning, usually on the open between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. This is just a fact. Some gaps are nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. The most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify a change in directional trend or a bigger move in the same directional trend. These are the most important ones, and these are the ones that are going to have the momentum and the good setups. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you denote what to do and when a change is occurring. So gaps really are the strategy to use to get good risk to reward trades because they have momentum and detailed price action that is easily definable. However, you need a system that tells you which gaps are the ones to trade each day. And this is what I teach and what I do. This is how I trade. The Golden Gap system teaches you how to find the quality ones to trade by rating them. So it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. I invented this for myself. I did this myself, and I embedded it for the purpose of myself, not to teach people. And now it's, it's worked so well for me. I started a company, and now I'm teaching people how to do this. And today we're going to go over one week of trading gaps that happen in the month of August. And we're going to go over each setup. And it's going to be very interesting for some of you in here that thought that there was no money to be made this summer in the summer month of August. And one week was a fantastic week this summer. We're going to talk about these trades. And I did it using my system. And I did it using my 26-point checklist. Because success requires a plan, a checklist. Just like if you want to be a professional, professionals have checklists. You know, pilots have checklists. Doctors have checklists. Dentists have checklists. All these people that are professionals, they don't go into surgery and just start cutting into somebody. Okay, they have a checklist, a protocol. Call it a protocol if you want to do that. This is like my protocol before I start to trade. So the rating system tells you the risk to reward will be there. Here was the SWHC trade from Friday. This gap rated 21 points. It had a beautiful entry and a great trade. And guess what? Boop. It was done in eight minutes. In eight minutes, a stock had a plus 3R risk to reward. 
So it had a three hour risk to reward in eight minutes. And you could have retaken the trade even too. So, you know, this is the kind of thing you're looking for. You're looking to rate the gap to make sure it's going to work. And then if it rates over 20 points, you're looking for a good setup with a good risk to reward. And part of the rating system, part of the 26 points, part of looking for something over 20 means that the stock is going to give you this kind of risk to reward trade on the day, intraday. So trading gaps makes financial and intellectual sense due to the risk to reward payout. For every dollar you risk in a trade, you should be looking to make more than a dollar, even two. Ideally, you want to make three to four in the low end and a potential for eight to 10 on the high end per dollar risk. So what is your goal every day as a trader? People say, well, you know, what is, what are you trying to do every day? Three dollars per dollar is a day. And anything you make more than that is money in the bank. Your goal as a trader to be average, should be to average three hours per day. And, and let me tell you something, if you're doing that, you're a great trader. Iron Man has asked me a question. Other people can ask questions too as I'm talking today. Feel free to. How many minutes into the day does it take to get a rating? I rate my gaps in the morning pre-market. So I'm actually rating my gaps as soon as I roll out of bed. Or you could do it the night before with post-market data information. If you do it the night before, you're prepped. I get up early and start at 8 a.m. So, you know, it doesn't take me an hour and a half to rate my gaps. If I have a ton of gaps, it might. But usually per gap, if I'm looking at one stock symbol, if you're new, it may take you like 10 minutes to go through one. If you're not new, okay, like I'm pretty good at doing this, it's, it's less than five minutes per stock symbol. So you could rate a ton of gaps in, in a half an hour period, just from 9 to 9.30 or even from 8 to 9. Me personally, I like to be very well prepared early on. Okay, but it shouldn't take you more, any more than 10 minutes, even if you're brand, brand new to rate a gap. And, and as you get good at doing it, it's going to be like less than five minutes. So trading gaps makes it worthwhile to trade because the risk to reward payout is great. You make your money work for you when you trade gaps, which is the way it should be. Okay, this is the way that it should be. This is the purpose of trading in the first place. So one of the benefits of good risk to reward is less time out of your life. If you make the money you need to make for the day in one trade, if you have your goal in for the day in one good risk to reward trade, one trade, then, then that's it. Your day's in. It's less time. You don't have to sit there till four o'clock and looking for things and looking for things and over trading. So one of the benefits of good risk to reward trading is it's going to be less time out of your life to trade. Another benefit of good risk to reward trading is longevity and consistency in your trading. And the Golden Gap course will teach you a strategy and system that will help you sustain yourself in the market. Trading is about consistency and longevity. If you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results. If you want to have consistent results, you need a way to find good risk to reward trades. Otherwise, you're throwing darts at a board every day, and this will get you nowhere. The Golden Gap course teaches you how to get consistent results in your trading by finding high quality stock picks to trade with good risk to reward payouts. So where do good risk reward trades set up? Good risk reward trades set up in highly rated gaps. Gaps are rated over 20 points, as I said earlier. If a gap rates over 20 points, you watch it to set up to get an entry to trade. Simple, that's what you do. So quality entries with good risk reward happen in quality gaps. Opportunity exists in quality gaps, and that is how you will find it in the market. If you don't see opportunity, then you don't trade. Having a system to help you find the opportunity will help you make money. So we're going to go over this one week in August, one week of trading gaps, what the potential is for you that you could have done. And, and it, it, you know, anybody can trade in the market. It's not like you have to live in the United States to trade the U.S. stock market. You need to learn how to do this, but you can do it from home with a computer and, and your own trading account. So the first trade here was OMX. This was August 21st. This is during earnings season in the market. So in the month of August, it's actually earnings season. So it's a good time to trade gaps. Not everybody knows this. However, it is. There was a nice trade here and a good gap in this OMX. This is a one minute chart. And let's look at the trade. The entry time was 938. The price was 1068. Stop was over 1073. Now I'm using advanced trader risk here. Okay. We'll look at the beginner trader results at the end. But the risk was five cents. Now here's where you are protecting yourself, how you're putting in a stop. This is where it is a defined risk. 
If you don't have a stop in, you don't know where you're getting out, where's the defined risk? Okay? So, for example, if you take 9,000 shares, you risked $450. The exit was $1040. Total profit was $2520. The risk to reward was 5.6 times the amount risk. And so you, you risked $450. If you're an advanced trader, you made $2520 in 20 minutes. Now let's go back and look at it. First of all, this stock opened here and dropped down and rallied up. You're taking the trade here into the reversal time into the base, and the stop is over the base. And you're giving it a cushion, as much of a cushion as you need to, and it literally, once it breaks, falls off a cliff. When the stock does this, it actually dropped past 1040. You're either out into this move, or you can wait till the second bar opens here, boom, and just get out of it. You just take it out. This is too big of a move here, too huge of a thing to not exit the trade, okay? So you're out. So here we are. This is it. One trade, one day, this is your day. You could stop right here. Whatever you risked, you made 5.6. Even if you risked half the $450, if you didn't want to risk $450, if you risked $225, you would have made over $1,200. Still 5.6 times the risk. So the idea is to get a good number here in the risk to reward. This is what a professional does. This is a quality trade. Now, there was another wonderful, amazing gap the next day. HPQ, beautiful gap, showed the immediate weakness, dropped down, rallied up. This setup happened a little bit after the fact, but still in the morning period. Right in here, you take the short stop over this guy here, and it drops down. Look at this move into here, and we'll look at the trade. Entry time was 9.46, price was 22.84, stop was 22.97, it's 13 cents. If you took 4,000 shares, which you can very easily do in HPQ, risk was $520, exit was 22 bucks. Total profit, 33.60. This risk to reward is even better than the OMX. It's 6.5 times the amount risk was made in profit. So you turned $520 into 33.60 in 30 minutes. Let's go back and look at it again. 9.45, the exit's 10.15. Drops down here into the reversal time, boom, you take it out. And it went through the target. Target was 22. It even broke 22. You could have been out of it here, or when it broke 22, into the 80s here, you could have been out of it. But the target was 22, and it got there. So again, beautiful risk to reward. Second day here. Second day in the middle of August, you're into this thing. Look, your, your, your week is in now, basically, really, if you want to stop. However, there was another beautiful gap in ARO. Here's ARO, great gap. This is August 23rd now. Here's the entry on this. Stop over the base, drop down in here. Let's look at the entry. 936, price to enter was 933. Stop was 942. Again, less risk. Why is this less risk? Because the strategy is in place, it's the gap. You rated it, it rated over 20 points. You're taking the trade correctly and you're using a hard stop. So what's the worst thing that can happen? The amount that you risk if, if the trade fails, you are out and you take the loss, that's it. And at this point here, even if you had taken a loss in this third trade here, in this third day of the week, you would have still been up money on the week and you could have quit for the rest of the week. So the less risk means having a detailed entry and putting in a hard stop. And if it fails, it fails. However, this didn't fail. It was a beautiful trade. Went on to work here. Exits 875. Total profit on this is 3480. The risk to reward in this, fabulous. 6.4 times the amount risk was made in profit. You could have turned $540 into 3580 in an hour. This took a little bit longer, but it still had a nice drop down in here. Okay, Iron Man is asking other questions. Do you know your risk reward when you place the trades? Of course I do. How else do I know how much I'm risking? You must do this. You must do this, Iron Man. How else do you know how much you're risking? This is one of the things, you know, I, I talk about in the class. You can't just take a certain lot size every trade. If you trade as a trader with lot sizes, 500 share lots, 1,000 share lots every single trade, your risk is all over the place. You, there, your risk is all over the place because not every trade has the same stop. Do you see this? This one's nine cents. This one's thirteen. This one was five. If I took nine thousand shares in this trade here, 
I'd be risking a thousand bucks. I don't want to do that if my risk is five hundred dollars per hour. What if it fails and I've lost a thousand dollars? That's not what I wanted to do. So I can't take the same amount every of share size per train. The amount you're taking per train is based on the size. And yes, you must do this. You must figure it out. You you have to do this. It's not going to be the same position size every time, but the monetary risk should be. We're within a, a within a, a range. You could say, I'm going to risk $100. Sometimes you might end up actually risking 110 Sometimes it might be 95 But you have to do this. You got to do this. This is part of trading. You got to either A, be good at numbers, or B, have a little cheat sheet next to you. There's no way to do it in hindsight. It's too late. You got to take the trade. You got to know what you're risking because you do have to have a stop in because if the trade fails, you're going to take the loss. And you got to know what that is. And it can't be more than you're willing to lose. These, I know this because I rated the gap. The whole premise here is because I'm looking at this stock because I rated the gap in the morning and I know this is going to have a setup. How do I know this is going to have a setup in here with a good risk to reward? I rated the gap based on my 26 point rating system. The gap rates over 20 points and I watch it on the day to trade. And actually, I'm going to show you one more example for this week, but it was not even every gap that worked this week. There was actually four more high quality 20 plus rated gaps during the same week that that I that I just didn't do. Okay. So, you know, and this is just part of the process of trading is you must get up and rate the gap. Otherwise, how are you gonna even know what stock symbol to look for? You're not you you were looking for these entries and gaps. You don't know if the gap's going to work until you rate it. If you rate it and it rates over 20 points, you can watch it for the setup to get the good entry. You have to know where to enter these. You have to learn this in the class. But the point I'm trying to make here is they exist, and they exist on a consistent basis. But you have to have a way to find them. What's the way? Rating the gap. Because they happen in gaps. Why do they happen in gaps? I mean, you know, some of you are new to my stuff, and some of you are not in here today. Good risk to reward trades happen in gaps because gaps are created by institutional money. Institutional money creates momentum in the stock on the day that it trades and it takes a position or exits a position. And that momentum means the stock's going to have a move. That move could be 50 cents, it could be a dollar, it could be a four dollar move. But that momentum, that volatility that happens in the setup creates the move for you to get paid as an individual trader, whether you're buying something or shorting something. These are all short examples because I prefer to short. Why do I prefer to short? Stocks drop faster than they rally. It takes sometimes a long, long time for things to go into an uptrend and flip around and be buys. But when people want to exit a stock, when something happens and they want to get the heck out, they won't hesitate at all. Here's here's a good example. This is Marvell. Marvell gap down. This is another one, the same one on the 20, same day, the 23rd is the ARL. Open here, here's the entry. Again, stop over here. Look at this drop that this happened. Do you think that people wanted to get out of this? Yes. Yes, they did. People were long the stock, Marvell, the day of the gap. And how did I know it was a good gap? How did I know it was going to do something even remotely like this? Because I rated the gap. And it got rated over 20 points per the Golden Gap system, which is a rating system that I look at the daily chart of the stock. And all the points are off the daily chart of the stock. And that's how I know what to do. And I'm looking at the price. It's based on technical analysis. So anyways, here's the entry in Marvell. Entry time's 9.32. Price is 12.63. Stops over 12.69. Risk was six cents. Again, you can't take the same share size every trade. It has to be the same monetary size or roughly thereabouts. So on 8,000 shares, it's $480. If you want to risk this, again, this is advanced. Exits $1,168. Total profit $7,600. Let's go look at, back and look at it. Here, you get the drop down here. You might be out of the whole trade here. First target was $12. It broke right through it. But you're up so much money in this, you could have let it rally and lowered your stop. Again, lowering your risk, protecting yourself. And really, I don't do this, but as soon as these moves start to go into themselves here, you really could lower your stop to your, to your entry price so that you wouldn't lose anything at all. I do not do that. I've got to be honest with you. I let them run their course. But if you really wanted to trade a low-risk way, you could take the entry here and put the stop right at the price you took it because they shouldn't back up into themselves. And this dropped really hard. And they usually do. Do you see how fast he's hit? 
When the stocks set up and hit in these gaps, they trade and set up in the first beginning part of the day between 9.30 and 10 a.m. And if something doesn't trigger by 10 a.m., I'm not in it. I'm just, I'm not trading it. So on this trade, this, this was an amazing move. It was 15 times the amount of risk to reward made in profit. 15 times, over 15. It was almost 16 times. You could have made $7,600 if you had risked, you would have had to risk $480. But even if you only risked half that, even if you only risked half that amount, 250 bucks, you could have made 3,500. In 30 minutes, this is boom, it's just done. It's done by guess what? The reversal time, 10 a.m. Boop, you're out. Double bottom, double bottom, out. This is a week. This is one week, and it didn't even include all of the trades. So that's how you make a lot. Iron Man is saying, are you ever unable to get shares to short? Every once in a blue moon, I can't get something that's a, such a cheap price point. I can't get it because it might be under $3. But it's rare that I would even request that. If I pull up and check my short, which you have to do before you take the trade in the morning when you're rating the gap, if I don't have it, I request it. And to be honest with you, I usually get everything I request. And if I don't, it's because it's probably too cheap. Do I have to request stuff every week? No. Do I have to request stuff a couple times a month? Yes. For the most part, you do need to find a good solid broker that has access to a lot of shorts. And this has to be part of your parameters. However, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of brokers do. It's just people aren't thinking about this. They're not used to looking for shorts. You, they think there's a misnomer that it's difficult to short. It's not difficult to short. Find a broker that can get you lots of shorts. There's a millions of them out there. And they want your business, okay? Remember, they're working for you. Brokers make money off of you trading. So in one week, the total amount of risk was 1990. And this advanced trader, okay, total profit if you did all those trades was almost $17,000. In one week, in one week. Now, this is earnings week. This is third quarter earnings season, but it was in August, okay? And if people didn't think there were any trades in August, they were wrong. I kept telling people that. August is a good month to trade. Total profit on this was over 16 grand. Total time you took to make that money was two hours and 20 minutes. Total risk to reward payout for the week on average was 8.52. This is on average. You averaged all the trades together in the week. And you turned $19.90 into $16,960 in a week. So it doesn't matter if you didn't get anything around a couple of days before Labor Day. Who cares? Okay? There were four other quality gaps that rated 20 plus points the same week. I didn't do them, but I did rate them. I typically like to focus on one or two things a day, but there were four other great things this week. So it was a really big week. And, you know, really you're looking for one nice gap a day. If you're a beginner trader here, like this guy, he has no interest in risking $500 a trade. He's just not going to do it. He doesn't have the account to do it, and that's okay. He took the same trades. He risked $398 in total on the same trades. His total profit was $33.90 for the week. He, he's ecstatic, okay? He, he, he's absolutely ecstatic here, okay? This guy has a $5,000 prop account, and he just almost doubled it in a week. He couldn't be happier. He's totally excited. Total time for him was 2 hours and 20 minutes. Total risk to your payout for the week was 8.5. He risked $400 and made $33.90. That's pretty darn good. $400 for the week, not per trade. Turning $398 into $33.90 in a week. So this is possible for a beginner. This is not out of the realm of possibility for a beginner trader with a low risk. It doesn't matter how much you money you risk, the risk to reward is the same. Risk to reward pad is the same. No matter if you're an advanced beginner or whatever, if you take the right entry, put the right stuff, and get out. It's not about how much you risk when looking for risk to reward. It, it's about the quality of the trade you're taking. How are you going to find that? you got to find the right stock. How are you going to find that? You're going to find the right gap. And how are you going to find that? You're going to rate it. This, this very easily, his buying power, this is what I'm saying. This guy only had a $5,000 proprietary day trading account. Now, if you have a retail trading account, he could have risked more. But I use this guy as an example because I said, here, here's a beginner. Someone that has a small day trading account, which is $5,000. So his total buying power is probably around $35,000. And if he's a good trader, the broker and the prop place may give him up to fifty. 
He's got a set amount, though, per day he has to risk. Only. He has to stick to his rules. He can't risk $500 per trade. There's no way. But he did everything he was supposed to do. He's getting good. He's sticking to the program. Trades like this come with using the Golden Gap 26-point checklist. That's how you're going to find them, Iron Man. That, that is how you're going to find them. You know, I did this scenario here because me, myself, personally, you know, now, you know, it's been five years now that I've been trading. And, you know, it, honestly, honestly, for people who want to do this with a long range plan, like you seriously want to do this like a professional, there's so much potential here. You do have to get good. You have to learn what to do. But the sky is the limit. So the Golden Gap annual potential for advanced traders, I just did this one scenario, and I used the same risk, the $500. If you could duplicate this type of profitability in a year, what kind of money could you make? Now, just stay with me here. I'm going to go through this. If you only had half the returns, so I'm being, I'm taking everything I just showed you, which I did, by the way, take it off by half. Just drop it by half. Cut it by half, okay? If you only had half the returns that this one week had in the month of August, over the course of a year, on average, how much could you make? So say you took all those trades, but you didn't take that risk. So just divide it by two. So 16,960 divided by two is 84,80, okay? 84,80 a week times 52 weeks in a year is over 440 grand, grand a year, okay? That's a huge amount of money to make as a trader or anything. I don't care what you do. But the fact is that you're not going to trade every single week like this. So, for example, out of 52 weeks, some weeks there will be no highly rated gaps. So you're going to have no trades, okay? You're going to have nothing to do. 10% of the time, you're going to have no trades. Zip. Zero. Shouldn't do anything. In fact, today I didn't take one trade at all, okay? Today is one of those 10% days. There's nothing to do. There was no gaps rated over 20. There was nothing. I didn't take a trade. So that leaves 47 weeks of trading. Another 20% of the time, the trades will fail. Okay, so 20% of the time the trades fail, you have to account for the losses. So let's go through here. And remember, I'm using half the percentage, okay, of the, of the payout that I showed you, which was a $500 average risk. So 84.80 a week times 36 weeks. This is this is 36 weeks. This is 70% of the time you're going to make money. Out of 52 weeks, you only have 70% of the time to have solid weeks. That's 36. Because 10% is nothing, 20 fail. So 36 is 70% of the time. On average, 84, 80 a week means 305, 280. This is what you'd be up. Now you have to take account for the losses. Minus out the losses from the 20% failures. At a risk of $500 R unit, failing every day of a 10-week average over a year, 10 weeks times, five days a week is 50 days. So for a $500 R day times 50, it's 25 grand. So your losses would be 25 grand over a year. 305, 280 in profits, 10% no trades, 25,000 in losses equals 280,000, 280 bucks income per year. And then you take out your commissions. You're going to have to pay commissions on these trades. But your commissions will be negligible. Why? Because you're not over trading. You're not over trading. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. You're taking one trade a day, two trades a day. You're not trading, trading, trading. You are not trading crazily. This is about quality, quality trades with the entries, with the exits, with the stock pick, no over trading, no crazy commission days. You are counting for 20% failures. And 10% of the time, you're not going to do anything. And I used a $500 risk unit to take out the losses, even though I only took 50% of the number of the profits from that week. I, I'm just showing you here the potential. Because you might not be this good. So even if you're not this good and took all these losses, do you see what you could do? Would you invest time, effort, energy, and money to work part-time? Because you're only doing this in the morning. Part-time hours to make over 280 grand a year, or half that, which is 140, or what about a third of that, which is like 100 grand a year, to work part-time? Would you? Yeah, you would. You'd be as happy as a clam. You'd be partying on the beach like these people every afternoon. You'd be jumping up and down. You have to invest the time, the energy, and effort, and money to learn how to do this and do it. And I don't know how long it's going to take you to do it. You might learn this stuff and do the class and start doing it immediately. 
because you might be already knowing how to read charts and then you don't know how to rate gaps or do any of the stuff I know how to do. I teach you how to do it. You go at it. I have some people that have done my class that are doing exceptionally well. In fact, they have contacted me to thank me. They are doing so well. So, I mean, this is possible. I, I know because I'm doing it. But it's very gratifying to see that there is people that I'm teaching, complete strangers that have done my class, that are doing this and doing well and making money in the market like this. You can achieve your goals for yourself and your family. The benefits are great. It's worth the effort. It's worth the effort. Like anything you set out to do in life, you do have to make some effort. The effort is taking a class. The effort is learning how to do it. The effort is being disciplined by not trading when there's nothing good, by rating the gap in the morning, by stopping when you're up. So the benefits of trading gaps are is that you can make a six-figure income or more. Benefits of trading gaps are trading on the side of institutional money. Here's an example of Facebook. This has been such a beautiful gap. In fact, today Facebook came in a little bit and I said, it's not coming in, it's not coming in, it's not coming in, and it held all day. And here was the buying in this that was in it last week. Some beautiful stretchy green bars in the institutional buying that came in this last week on Thursday and Friday. And even today, didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere at all. This thing is just nothing but higher. The benefits of trading gaps are you work anywhere, anywhere in the world from any time zone. Again, like I said earlier, you don't have to live in the United States to trade the U.S. stock market. You can live anywhere in the world. And again, even if you live in a different time zone, you know, you're scheduling yourself to be and trade in the market between 9.30 and 10, and 9.30, between 9.30 and 10, 9.30 and 10.30. You want to trade for about an hour, an hour and a half to do the prep work and get ready and do it. And you just schedule your time to do it and be in there in that time period. So the benefits of trading gaps are you work less than 30 minutes a day. If you have another job or have other responsibilities or family things to do, then you go on and do them after you're done trading. Benefits of trading gaps are they have a lot of momentum to pay you. Here's the SWHC. Beautiful momentum in this that came in, guess what? In the first 15 minutes of the day. The first 15 minutes of the day. This is a 15 minute chart, actually. Look at this beautiful fat red bar in here in the 15 minutes. This actually did break down into later into the afternoon. If you really wanted to hold this down to the bigger target, it had it. It had the drop and broke after lunch. Benefits of trading gaps are you work from home. It gives you a lot of freedom. You know, you can work from home and not have to be stressed about commuting or running late for work or any of these things. So get clear with your financial goals because it's almost the end of 2013. And if you had financial goals at the beginning of the year and you're nowhere near making them, don't beat yourself up about it. Just start to get clear. Start to figure out what you're going to do now so that you can go into 2014 and, and really accomplish what you set out to do, whether it's with your trading or your overall financial picture. If you're not trading and you want to trade, maybe this is the way you're going to do it. You've got to start taking steps now towards big changes for your life in 2014. Iron Man's asking me another question here. Are the gaps you trade always continuation gaps or do you trade gaps that fill the gap? Great question, Iron Man. There is no such thing as gap fills. They do not work. So to answer your question, I never, ever, 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 ever trade them. They don't work. As something to play consistently in the market as a strategy, they fail. They fail way more than they ever work. They may work once in a blue moon, you see one work, but it's not really a gap fill. It's, if it's a down gap, it's a bearish gap down failure, and it's a rally into resistance, it's not a gap fill. And they just don't work. Do you trade price moves at gap higher? What do you mean, Larry? Do you mean bullish gaps? Is that what you mean? Personally, I prefer bearish gaps. But my system, you can use to trade bullish gaps too. You'd rate the gap using the reverse direction, and it still has to be over 20 points. I mean, that's how I, I picked Facebook. Me personally, I like to do bearish gaps, but you certainly could take my class and use it to trade bullish gaps. I have people that are doing that. You would just still rate the gap, and it has to rate over 20 points, but you're going to do it in the opposite direction of the bearish way. Do you follow what I mean? I think that's what you mean, but if not, let me know, Larry. Yeah. So learn how to trade with a good risk to reward payout. You do have to learn this, but like I was showing earlier, 
if you if you thought that it would be possible that within a period of time, depending on your skill set and the level of work that you want to take, that you could take a class and be able to make three hundred grand a year working part time a day, like would you do it then? It might not be in a year. It might take you two years. What if it takes you five years? I mean, this is the kind of thing that people have to seriously consider. No one ever said they were going to roll out of bed and make a million dollars in the market in the first week. You have to learn how to do it. And let me tell you something. If you go into the market and don't know what to do or don't know something that works, the market will take more money than you could even dream of. Whereas a class is a fixed cost and can teach you good information. And you'll find that it's so much easier for you as a person, as an individual, emotionally, mentally, financially, to learn from someone that is a good trader, that's a good mentor, which, which I am, and both those things, than just throwing yourself willy-nilly into the market. Because then what happens is that gambling mentality, that rolling the dice, that 50-50 mentality, it creeps up on you because you don't know what to do exactly. And that this is what happened. This is the trap that people get in. So being a professional really means having a business plan and learning. And professionals learn. They go to school. They learn. They go through mentorships. They go through uh, beginning periods, apprenticeships. You think these people don't put in their time? You betcha they do. They absolutely do. People in New York City go through their grunts. They're grunts for years until they start really getting paid. They're learning under the big boys. They're under their wing. They're grunts, but they're taking in all the information and learning. So the Golden Gap course is the class that I teach. And if you're interested, it is a class that teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. So why should you learn the Golden Gap system? Because there's so many stocks each day that gap. If you get up tomorrow morning and look, you'll see what I mean. There's a crazy amount of stocks that gap. So using a system is vital and significant to your trading success. Having a detailed way to find which stock to trade will make it easier for you to make money and therefore achieve success because that's what you really want. The detail in the rating system points you in the right direction to get proper risk to reward trades. You need a good risk to reward payout to make money. So the 26 point checklist, it tells you what to look for. And the class teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power momentum and charts, teaches entries with a high risk to reward and low risk payout, teaches a detailed analysis of price to read the side of institutional money, taking positions and stocks, teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction, and it teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts focusing on technical analysis and gaps. And this is how I trade. I trade based on technical analysis. It teaches how to get conviction in your trading and the market as a source of wealth. I hope you see. One week of trading can produce these kinds of results for you. Now, you do have to be willing to take the risk of $500 an hour. And you, you're certainly not going to be willing to do that immediately. But this has to be the goal. Okay? That's real wealth. Okay? Do you have any idea? Some people don't even make that kind of money in a year or a month, let alone a week. Okay? The class teaches you how to have conviction in the market as a source of wealth, because that's what it is. So many people get so hung up in their beginning part of their career as a trader and the losses. The market is not about that. The market is a source of wealth, but you need to learn what to do. And by golly, you have to be a professional. And if you get this in your head and trade with the side of power, you're going to see the profit. And it also teaches how to find targets. So the course description is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. As soon as you sign up for the class, you can retake the class as many times as you need to or want to. It is a complete system to use to trade all the pieces of the puzzle. How to rate the gap, how to take the entry, where to put the stop, where the targets are, support and resistance, all of these things. The class is called the Golden Gap Course, and it's this weekend, September 14th and 15th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. It is a professional bearish gap system. Contact me at Melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information. The class is online. Here, let me put my email in here. Someone had asked me about this the other week. If you live anywhere in the world, oh, Kathy, that went up. Can you please put that in the room for me? If you live anywhere in the world, you can do this class because it's in an online setting. The hours are 9 to 5 Eastern Time. 
because I'm in the Eastern time zone, and that's also when the markets open. But you can be anywhere in the world and do it because it's an online setting. So your path to success is the golden gap, of course. You've got to get on a path to success for what you're doing. And if what you're doing isn't working, okay, then you have to find something else to do. Because ultimately, you want to be able to be successful in the market. And sometimes you have to take a step back. You have to take a step back and say, wait a minute, is what I'm doing not working? Have I met my financial goals this year for 2013? If not, it is September. So maybe it's time to regroup and just get on track for 2014 and start planning ahead. And thinking, what can I do for the following year? Learn how to make a lot of money in the market. What does this mean? It means using the right strategy and system to take good risk to reward trades. RT has asked me, is there a bullish gap system as well? The rating system can be used to rate bullish gaps, but you would use the points in the opposite direction. Does that make sense? If you wanted to do a bullish gap, like for example, Facebook, you would rate the gap in Facebook, and you would rate it, and if it rates over 20 points, you'd do it. How would you know how to do it? You would take it and do it in the opposite direction because you're looking to do longs instead of shorts. So empower yourself with information. It's time to be happy and successful in the market. Start taking steps now towards big changes for your life in 2014. If not now, when? Don't wait until December 31st. And you know what? Some people wait until January. They do the New Year's resolutions in January. Where does, where does that get you? Start planning ahead now. Thank you so much. Does anyone have any questions? Iron Man, yes, yes, I do. You can email me about that. Rusty has asked me, do I use options in my method? You know what? I don't. But I have someone that recently took the class that was asking about that because he's so excited about the information. And I do have people that have already done the class that have been doing options. I personally don't. I personally don't, but because I teach you the, how to read the direction of the stock, okay, you could do an option in it with the information, you, rating the gap, and do an option in it. That's not what I teach in the class, but if you do the class and you want to use the information to do an option, to trade it in the right direction, if you know how to trade options, you can do that. You'll be using the information from the class to get the direction right in the gap, okay? I don't teach that. I don't do that. I, I don't need to do that. I, I don't need to do anything other than this. <laughs> okay, so this is all that I'm doing. And, and I think this is all that I'll ever do, to be honest with you. I can't see any reason for me not to do anything else. And, and you know what? RT was asking about bullish gaps. I don't even need to do them. I'm making enough money on the downside. I don't even need to do the upside. And the market's in an uptrend. I am shorting bearish gaps and making a living shorting bearish gaps. And the market is in a bullish uptrend. So what do you think is going to happen if the market ever turns in a downtrend? Woo! All right? And I'm sure in my lifetime that will happen, okay? So I am set, set to go whenever the market wants to break. I don't see it happening anytime this year. But the fact is, sometime in my lifetime, this market will be in a downtrend, and I am set and ready to go because I'm making money and it's in an uptrend because I'm trading on the downside. And for whatever reason, you know, Stocks that want to drop work so fast and run hard. People have no compunction to just get out of something if the market's bullish. And we're in a bullish market. So the bottom line is the market is bullish. And if people are in things and they're underperforming, they're not performing, they don't, they don't care. They'll just get out of it. They'll take the money out of this thing and put it in something else. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they're like, why waste my time with this thing? I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this thing. Well, I trade in the morning. And then I go to the gym when I'm done trading. That's my routine. Iron Man's asking what I do. And then some days I do webinars like today. And then I just live my life. I'm single and do whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> I mean, you can do whatever you want in the afternoon. I usually go to the gym right after I'm done trading. And if I'm not doing a webinar, then I do whatever I feel like doing. Go out with friends, date. Go shopping, go get my hair done. That's what I do. <laughs> Does anyone else have any other questions? <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions about gaps, about the examples, about the class? Anything at all? Any any questions about any plays today? I have we have 12 minutes here. I can go over anything anybody wants me to look at from today. I could bring up some charts if anyone wants me to. We have some time in here. 
Does anyone have any other questions? All right, well, if not, you can just go to <laughs> Train for the Iron Man. I don't know if I want to do that. If I did that, I would be able to get out of bed early enough to, to train. I wouldn't have any energy to trade. If anyone has any other questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And if you're interested in more information on the class this weekend, then email me as well. And uh, be great to have some new students, so give me a shout out. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great night. Iron Man's asking what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to watch the US Open right now. I started taping it. It's just started. Don't tell me what's happened. <laughs> That's another thing. You know what I've been doing in the last two weeks? I've been watching tennis in the afternoons. <laughs> I've been watching the US Open. That's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that if I was at a regular job. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everybody. Have a wonderful night. If you would like any information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone in Online Trader Central. Have a good one.